TV streaming news this week. We have Goosebumps finally revealing some season two details. We're going to go over that. Primal has announced season three details, and Netflix just dropped a trailer for the Splinter Cell series. Well, maybe not just dropped, but we're, we'll talk about it. Hello, nerds. This is the weekly TV news show. Not like the evening news with Tom Brokaw. No, no, <laughs> nothing like that. This has more to do with TV shows, nerdy oriented TV shows, as well as episodic content that you will find on streaming platforms. If this is your kind of thing, then you can check out the full episode that I like to call the Week in Nerddom that covers all spectrum of pop culture and just generally nerdy things over on the main channel. You can find it linked down in the description or at the end of this video. All of that being said, let's talk about TV shows and nerdy stuff like that. Follow-ups and corrections, TV streaming, we have a follow-up on the Joe Bob stuff going on. Joe Bob, we always put him in follow-ups when we talk about him just because it's an ongoing thing, but Joe Bob is doing two specials in the very immediate future. This coming weekend, he's going to be doing a special spot on the AMC Fear Fest that they do every year. His spot is going to specifically be for Halloween number one and no, not Halloween, I'm sorry, Friday the 13th, number one and number two. It will be on AMC as well as Shudder. So if you have Shudder, you will still get the Joe Bob in between bits. If you are watching on AMC, you'll be getting commercials instead of the Joe Bob in between bits. Uh, so I would highly suggest you get Shudder because Joe Bob, Joe Bob is legitimately the reason I have Shudder. <laughs> like it's just, yeah, it's good stuff. But then also the second one is the Beezlebub Bash, which is a more traditional Joe Bob special, which is the Halloween special. It sounds like they will be doing two movies again. It's not going to be like the regular season stuff where they just do one movie anymore, but they will be doing two movies. And in tradition for Joe Bob, they will not announce the movies until the night of airing. So we don't know exactly what it is, but again, Beezlebub Bash, and that'll be the 25th of October. So the 9th for AMC Fear Fest and the 25th for the Joe Bob special. That's what we got for Joe Bob. Let's move over. Following up on the Goosebumps situation, we finally have information for season two. If you remember previously, Justin Long and then a bunch of kids who hadn't done much previously were season one. It is an anthology series, so each season is standalone. So the new cast is going to be headed by David Schwimmer, aka Ross Geller from Friends. That's right. So David Schwimmer is going to be a doctor. Did I write it down? I might not have written it down. Yeah, no, I didn't. Def I definitely didn't write it down, but he'll be a dad to two twins who the series will focus around the two twins. Fraternal twins because a boy and a girl and all of the kids cast in season two are, again, relatively unknown. We got some artwork, which you should be seeing on the screen right now. If you're watching, if you're listening, then you're going to have to go check out the video. Uh, but also David Schwimmer is going to be the big name that we get in this. So it's very interesting. Like I've never seen David Schwimmer do anything horror related. I've seen stuff he's directed. Obviously, I've watched every episode of Friends probably a dozen times at this point, but I've never seen him attached to anything like horror directed, so it'll be very interesting to see that. It is very safe horror because it's goosebumps, but still, like, I'm intrigued. I want to see this season two. Uh, let's see if I got dates. Uh, January 10th is when it's going to be coming out. It will be launching on both Hulu and Disney Plus. January 10th, season two. And if I'm remembering correctly, it is going to be launching all of the episodes at once. It's not going to be a week to week release. So that's what we got for Goosebumps. Let's move over now to Primal. We might not be getting that animated movie from Gendy Tart Tartakovsky, but we are getting a season three for Primal. It will be done soon soon it should be airing on Adult Swim in 2025 at some point. He was not specific with the when in 2025, but he did say 2025 is when we can expect to see Primal Season 3. That is what we got there. Let's move now into our final piece of follow-ups, and it has to do with Netflix and that 90s show. Everybody is reporting this as the second season, but there are three parts to it. Netflix doing whatever the hell they're doing with their series anymore, naming them in parts instead of in seasons is weird, and it's throwing a lot of people off. So some people are saying two seasons, they have it listed as three parts, so 
kind of in line with what we're expecting, but they have canceled that 90s show. I think I buried the lead on that one. Canceled that 90s show after part three. So again, three seasons seems to be the magic number with them. If you haven't made them an exceptional amount of money, i.e. Stranger Things, by the end of season three, you're going to get canceled. And that's where we're at with that 90s show. So yeah, that's a real quick one. Let's move now into trailers for TV streaming. We got a couple of those. First up is we actually got two Squid Game trailers. I only have the, the first one linked, but as I was finishing up the notes last night, they released another one. So yeah, the there are actually two trailers now for season two of Squid Game. So, I mean, do you want to play a game like this? Of course we're going to watch this. This is one of the biggest shows on the platform ever. Why would you not watch? And and like how the hell they're going to do a sequel to what happened previously is even more intriguing. So yes, that is going to be a thing. Go watch the trailers. But then the next two trailers we're going to talk about technically came out last week and somehow slipped through my radar like I did not see them announce these and then it was made aware to me that they came out and I was like oh my god how did I not talk about this first one is Splinter Cell probably the thing that I'm looking forward to the most with the Terminator series and then the Laura Croft series Laura Croft maybe not as good as the Terminator but either way they really are doing good things with their animated properties these days. So Splinter Cell, an animated series for the Splinter Cell franchise, subtitled, where is it? Subtitled Death Watch. It sounds amazing. Liev Schreiber is going to be the Sam, of, uh, to be the Sam of Voice Fisher, going to be the voice of Sam Fisher. That's pretty great. Liev Schreiber is always a win, always a win. I don't care what movie he's in. He's fantastic. The rest of the movie might suck, but he's amazing. So the, the fact that he's doing voice work for this is super intriguing but like Splinter Cell, man. Like if we give this enough attention, maybe we'll get a new Splinter Cell game in the future. Oh my God, wouldn't that be awesome? But then the other one that they were launched at the same time as the Splinter Cell trailer was the Devil May Cry trailer. Technically we've talked about this and I didn't remember it until I saw the trailer. So Devil May Cry does have a rough release date of April of 2025. Splinter Cell does not have a release date. It just is coming soon at the end of the trailer. Devil May Cry though, release date ish of 2025 april so yeah i i'm less excited about devil may cry just because i'm not a fan of that series like i am the splinter cell but damn why did i miss those anyway that's what we got for trailers go check them out links down in the description let's now talk about actually we have no regular ass news for tv streaming this week we only have a suggestion and oh boy if you have if you're new to the channel then welcome and uh, if you're not new to the channel you probably saw this one coming from season three that is our suggestion for the week from season three we are now three episodes deep into season three and it does not get any less confusing the more episodes they give us. I cannot wait to see how this wraps up because again, three episodes into eight, that means we're almost halfway through the final season and there's a lot left to cover. <laughs> so, wow, this is very gory. This is very graphic with the violence. This is also rather frightening and anxiety inducing. That is your warning. However, it does it to such a fantastic level that you cannot do anything but commend them for the effort that they have made and the, the way that they have followed through with the horror concepts in this show. Oh my God, it is so good. I cannot recommend it enough. That is your suggestion for the week. Go watch. It's available. You can buy the episodes individually. I'm pretty sure still on Amazon Prime. Or if you have an MGM Plus subscription, then it is available on MGM Plus. Go check it out. It's worth your time. That brings us to the end of the video, nerds. Thank you very much for joining me for the news. Once again, there is a full and probably much more up-to-date and recent episode of the news, the full-length version, if you will, called The Week in Nerdom over on the main channel, linked down in the description and probably link popping up somewhere around my face right about now. So click on that, go check that out as well. Or if you prefer your news in more truncated pieces, then by all means, just stick around here and go check out some of the other stuff we offer on this channel thank you very much for joining me we will see you in the next one before we go always always remember nerds that if it is generally nerdy it's probably here